What's up, Sun Rays? Welcome back to my channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. I'm sure you can see by the thumbnail and the title that this is another empties. Yes, I'm getting through my products. I got a lot of empties. So not only do I have this bag, but I have another bag down here that has some stuff in it too. It's blue. It ain't as cute. So I got it down here. What I will do, and because that one's real noisy. So what I'll do is I'll go through this one first. I was going to try to put things in order because somebody did get in my comments and asked me about, you know, separating the items and things like that. And I thought about it, but I got too many. And I'm thinking, you know what, by the time I go through, you know, and separate everything and try to put them in front of me so I can, you know, and stuff like that. That's a whole nother 20, 30 minutes. And I'm like, let me just go ahead and get this video over. So I'm just going to pull out of the bag and I'm going to tell you what I've used up. I hope that's fine. And if it's not, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. So, um, I can try to, when I reach in, pull out things that are in similar categories or families, but I can't guarantee it. So anyway, let's just, let's just go ahead and get started. So I do see a lot of body care on top. So I'll try to pull out those things and we'll go from there. We'll just see. Okay. So yeah, first thing that I used up was this raw sugar Simply Body Wash. This is for sensitive skin, and this is the green tea and cucumber and aloe vera uh, scent. Looks like that. Hopefully you can see it. I mean, it is white, so hopefully, you know, the camera is picking it up with the light. But I picked this up from Meyer. I actually was in Meyer with my husband looking for some other stuff, and I happened to see this on the shelf, and I was like, well, I was picking up other body wash and saw this and I was like, you know what? I've never tried raw sugar, had never even heard of it. So I wanted to pick it up and give it a try. And I actually picked up two of them. They were pretty reasonable. They weren't like outrageously priced or anything like that. I believe they were like $5 a piece or something. And so the second one I picked up was the cold pressed uh, lemon sugar scent. So this one is made with plant derived ingredients and cold pressed extracts for positively clean skin. Um, so lemon scent, cucumber scent, they are both, well, they're both, both cold pressed. They're both free of sulfates and parabens. They're both vegan and so forth. But this is what the bottles look like. So this one does smell like lemon, um, sweet lemons or lemonade. This one does smell like a nice lemonade. Um, and then this one does smell more like cucumber. Um, it's just a nice fresh scent. If I had my pick, I probably would pick this one probably. And that's because it just smells clean and it smells good. It's universal for me or my husband. Again, this one is more like lemonade, which is fine, but you can get tired of citrus after a while. So what I will say about them, they come out clear, so they're not like a pearlized um, body wash or anything like that. They're a clear body wash. They're somewhat thicker. Um, you know, when they come out and the hole is bigger, so it comes out in, you know, a bigger glob or whatever. So I did feel like that they went fairly quickly. They got used up fairly quickly. I do feel like that they lather okay. They lather better with loofahs um, as opposed to washcloths, which is the case for a lot of body washes. But I do have some that lather really well on a washcloth. So I want to let you know that they're okay. Are they something that I am going to say, oh, I need to go get my raw sugar? No, they're not wow. You know, they're not the wow factor or anything like that, but they're good. If they're on sale, I probably would pick up, you know, some other scents just to try them out. 
because um, they're already reasonably priced. So if you can get them on sale, you can get them really good. And because they're free of sulfates and para parabens and they're vegan and things like that. So they do have some uh, good ingredients in them. They have some pretty good things going for them. So I won't be opposed to using them again, but they're just not my favorite and they won't be going you know, I won't be like searching them out over my Dove or Olay or anything like that. So, and the scent to me is light. So it's not one that's going to linger. It's a light scent um, in the shower. It's not, you know, overpowering or anything like that. So I use those two up. Actually, my husband and I use these. He mostly the cucumber and then I kind of finished up the um, lemon sugar one. But... You know, we liked them. We purchased them again, um, you know, if we needed to. Next thing I used up was the smoothing and coconut coffee scrub and wash by uh, OGX, which looks like this. This has been going around YouTube. Everybody was talking about how good it is. So, of course, when it was on sale, I picked it up as well. Because it does. It looks like, oh, you know, and I... And I like coffee. Um, so, I mean, it smells pretty good. It smells more coconutty to me than coffee. Well, it's a nice mixture. It's a nice mixture of coconut and coffee. And um, so I got it, started using it. This is more of a um, white color with little specks in it. You know, you can see the little specks on the bottle, I believe looks like there's a little bit left in there but we couldn't get it we couldn't get it down so we're not gonna fight with it but um it was okay there was no wow factor with this either not what i thought that i was going to get considering how much it was going you know across youtube oh this is the best this is the best it's all right it's a body wash it's not bad it did what it was supposed to do the sin is okay the lather was um the lather was okay it wasn't a step above the doves that i use in my opinion or the olays that i use it was right there in there with those um i think the scent of the some of those are better than this again would i go and search this out no i won't search this one out and it could be that it's the scent the scent is good but it's just you know it, it's not a favorite of mine but it's okay um if it was on sale if ogx had a lot of their stuff on sale i'd probably pick this up along with some other ones maybe just to see my husband did it did he try this i'm not even sure if he tried this so i'm not going to speak for him but um if he did he didn't complain or rave one way or the other but yeah i won't go search this particular one out i'll say that but you know, it's not bad. Try it if you want to give it a try. Let's see if I got any other body stuff in here. Okay. So next I used up the Dove Shea Butter Bar and I love it. And yes, I would repurchase. It was good. Um, another body care product. This was actually my son's bought it for him. It's the Vaseline Advanced Repair Unscented um, uh, Lotion. I got this from him because he needed an unscented lotion when he got that tattoo. Uh, and he liked it. He liked it. You can see the top is off of it, but he liked it. And it's supposed to be intensive. It's supposed to be for um, really dry skin without feeling greasy. It's supposed to heal and really, really dry skin. And his skin is pretty dry. So he liked it. I would repurchase it again for him. So yes, can't go wrong with Vaseline. The Vaseline brand. The next thing I used up in body care was the Clinical Strength Secret. This is the completely clean and um, it was good. I don't feel like it worked to me any better than any of the other secrets that I have. So I would not repurchase this if it's on sale it's around the same price as those. And I saw it, I may pick it up or whatever, but I'm not going to pay. I think this is like Clinical Strength is like $8 or something crazy. But um, I wouldn't pay that for it because I just didn't feel like it it did anything over and above what the other ones do. I just wanted to um, try it out, so, to see if there was really a difference. I didn't feel a difference. 
Next thing I used up was the Secret Outlast Sweat and Odor. This is the completely clean scent. And this is a travel one. And so I went on and just used it up because it had been in my travel bag for a while and it was getting down to the wire. And I just said, let me go ahead and use this up because what I don't want to do is keep it in there, think I have a travel deodorant, get somewhere, and then it's like, there's not even, not any, you know, it's not enough in here to even get us through the week or whatever. So I went on and took care of it. And yes, I like it. And yes, I would repurchase. Next thing I used up, uh, uh, let's kind of get into, oh, hold on. The next thing I used up in regards to body care is the Soft Soap Luminous Oils and Real Macadamia Oil body wash this is formulated without parabens and thylates as well it does have a little bit of a floral along with it so you can see a little bit of a floral and a macadamia on it this smelled good this smelled good to me i liked it it was um kind of a clear gel as you can see just a little bit of a tint to it and I liked it. Self soap um, uh, was this was on sale. It was a little bit less expensive than like the Dove and stuff like that. So when I saw it, I picked it up. I said, "Let me go ahead and pick this up." So I picked this one up, and I picked up a different scent uh, for my son for him to try or whatever. And I liked this one. I was pleasantly surprised. It was better than I thought. It had a really, really, really nice lather to it, and I felt like a little bit of this went a long way whereas the OGX one the coffee one I felt like you had to use a little bit more to get the feel and the clean cleanliness you want out of it that one is a little bit more slick and moisturizing of feeling than this one is but as far as feeling clean and feeling fresh um I liked this one so I probably would pick up this believe it or not, over that particular OGX one. So yeah, I like the Soft Scent brand. That was my first time ever using it. And I liked it, so I'd pick it up again. Okay, so let's get into some kitchen items just because they're thrown in here. And then after this, I'm not sure if I'll do kitchen items again because it's like, why? Who really cares what? Okay, I'll put it this way. If it's something that you've seen before or I mentioned, then I probably won't. For instance, like my coffee creamers. Y'all know I drink coffee. I like the uh, French vanilla coffee creamer. I like other scents as well, but right now I was, I've was i been on the French vanilla kick. So I got two of those in here. Um, I'm sorry, I have three. Two of the International Delight ones and one of the Coffee Mate ones. And I know why I put these in here now because I wanted to say I like French vanilla. I like it in this brand, the international brand, a little bit better than the Coffee Mate brand. Now, I like Coffee Mate brand, but for this particular flavor, the French vanilla, I prefer the international. I feel like you use less and you get the creamy consistency that you want and you get the flavor that you want by using a little bit less with this one i feel like i have to use more and coffee mate is usually more expensive so i will go with this one over coffee mate in this particular flavor okay so i do want to turn on that so i use three of those that i could keep track of i probably have gone through more than three but um, that I can keep track of. Next thing, um, I used up the Trade East Mild Chili Powder, which looks like this. It's just a large one. I think I got this from Sam's or Costco. Not even sure which one. But um, it was a big one. So I picked it up and I would repurchase it. I like chili powder. We like chili around here. My, my son loves chili. Guys, sorry, um, there was one more French vanilla, so. And then I also used up the McCormick paprika, so. Yes, we like paprika and I will um, repurchase paprika. I already have some down there. I don't know if y'all use paprika or not, but if you don't use it, but if you don't need use it, you need to get you some. Paprika is really good for um, giving your sauces depth. 
in uh, flavor and color. It's mainly used for color, I think, because it doesn't have a real, real distinct flavor that you would be able to pick out when you add it with other spices and stuff like that. You wouldn't be able to say, oh, I, I taste the paprika in this, you know. You can taste it if you sprinkle it on like your deviled eggs because it's right on top or something like that. But when you have this along with pepper and garlic powder and stuff like that, you really can't pick this out. But what it does do is give your meats, your salmons, your chicken, stuff like that really good color and makes it your food look really pretty and appetizing. And it also gives good color to your soups, um, your, your, um, yeah, your soups, your gravies, your, you know, things like that. So if you haven't used paprika, pick you up some paprika and try it out. Okay. Yeah, I like paprika. Okay. So now let's get into a little bit of hair care. And like I said, there may be some of these other things pop up a little bit later. I'm doing the best that I can. So I did use up the Product Junkie Naturals Passion Fruit Oil Maximum Moisture Deep Conditioner. Looks like this. I've had it for a long time. Finally used it up. It was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was just okay. But I had it so long too. So it could be, you know, that it wasn't at its best. Um, once I fin finally used it up. I do believe that it had, you know, some nice slip to it or whatever, but I just don't, I don't remember it just like standing head and toe above some of my other deep conditioners and with everything that's going on with Product Junkie, Junkie Naturals right now, as far as her rebranding and stuff like that, whether she's going to come back or not, I'm not sure. So at this point, I'm going to say no, I wouldn't repurchase it. But who knows what will happen in the future. So wish her well. Um, the next thing I used up was the She Scented Curl Moist Conditioner for very dry hair. Looks like this. She Scented always makes really good um, deep conditioners, in my opinion. This one was good, too. Would I repurchase this one? Not before I repurchase some of the other ones. There are other ones that I really did like a lot better than this one, but this one wasn't bad. This one had the slip like the other ones do and everything else, but I just, I guess I had high expectations because it says for very dry hair, highlighted here. So I'm thinking, oh wow, I'm going to really feel, you know, a difference. And I really didn't. It, I didn't feel anything over and above what I had, I get from um, some of the other deep conditioners that don't say that, that I feel like, you know, worked just as well, if not better than this one. So I, I'll pick up some of my other favorites, uh, for instance. The She Scented Sugar Berry and Honey Moisture Rich Mask for type 4 hair. Now this one's good. I'll pick this up before I pick up this. But this wasn't bad. It did what it was supposed to do. But this one, I will pick this one up again. It smells good. I hate that I'm out of it. It had great slip. It had moisture. She scented deep conditioners just make my hair feel plump. I mean, they just go on. They they make your hands, fingers just slide through your tangles that may be left. You can just feel your hair soaking it up and you can just feel your curls getting plump and plumper and plumper for me. That's how I feel about them. So I love this. I would definitely repurchase it. Next thing I used up was the Miracle, the Moisture African Pride Moisture Miracle Pre Shampoo. Used this up on my son. I have one more over here. I sent him away to college with um, this one as well as the um, the blue one, the kids one. What is it called? Oh my goodness. Um, Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't think of it now. I'll put it right here. But, um, so yes, if he needs more for his tangles, I'll uh, repurchase it for him. It works well for him. I don't use pre-poos like that, so I wouldn't repurchase it for me, but I definitely would pick it up for him. I usually use just conditioners to, um, you know, detangle my hair. Next thing I used up was the Texture ID Leave-In Conditioner. This is an old one that I had, um, so I finished it off and I would repurchase and I have already, so 
I believe I just used uh, this leave-in in a video recently. I'll link it here and I like it. If you haven't tried Texture ID products, you need to pick them up and give them a try, especially for the price. Next thing I used up was the Nature's Little Sick Secret Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich Deep Conditioner. Yes, 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 I would repurchase. This is good. Um, all Nature's Little Secret Deep Conditioners are good. I really like the rose one as well. That that right now is my favorite but this one is neck and neck they're neck and neck all of them are really good um they smell good they have a lot of slip her scents are lightly scented so it's not anything overpowering it's just a nice pleasant scent when you put it in your hair and like i said the slip is out of this world you only need a little bit it sinks into your hair you don't have a whole lot of white sitting on top of your hair with her deep conditioner so i really like that i do have a discount code for nature's little secret if you were planning on trying to um, if you were wanting to try it out, I'll leave the discount code here. I also have a link in the description box, so make sure you click that link and use that code and save you some money. But Nature's Little Secret is worth a try, okay? It's worth a try, and I love her products. Would repurchase. Um, next thing we used up was the shade. Okay, hold on. Found another pre-poo, so... Again, I already talked about that. Next thing we used up was the Shea Moisture Strength and Restore Treatment Mask. And I used to use this really back in the day when I was newly natural. Um, and I love Shea Moisture products. Now, I still like this line and I would repurchase this mask. Um, would I repurchase it before I repurchase some of the other ones that I mentioned? Probably not. But this is one that you can find everywhere. You can find it at Target. You can find it at CVS. You can find it. You can find Shea Moisture Mask pretty much anywhere. With that being said, if you're on vacation, if you're somewhere and you need to shampoo your hair and you need a mask and you need it to be reasonable, pretty much then pick this up you would be able to find this you know nature's a little secret you're not going to be able to find she sent it you're not going to be able to find in the stores and stuff like that this one you can so with that being said yes i would repurchase this for an, an occasion such as that um and it's i forgot how good it was because i hadn't used it for so long but when you put it on your hair it doesn't have the best application in my opinion as a at, compared to some of the other ones I mentioned um, it definitely doesn't hold a candle to you know nature's little secret and she sent it when it comes to the slip but once it's in your hair and you let it sit for a while or you put it under heat and you go to rinse it out your hair feels really good with this so I do think that it does what it's supposed to do I do think that your hair feels good afterwards I do think it's a good deep conditioner but again, I'm probably going to use those first and then use this if I have to for traveling or, you know, something like that. Now, sometimes when you want to travel, you don't want to take your good stuff. You want to take the stuff that works, but maybe more reasonable because if you end up forgetting it, leaving it at the hotel, maybe it's too big. You have to throw it out from TSA, whatever. So you want to take stuff like that, that you won't be mad if you forgot it or, you know, had to get rid of it or something. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Thing uh, that was used up was the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. Looks like this. Of course, my son used it up. That's why it looks crazy. Um, and there's just like a little, little um, bit in there. Um, I think he was adding water to it, trying to get it out. But anyway, he liked it. Would I repurchase this? Probably not because I like the um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo from Shea Moisture um, a little bit better. I feel like it's a clarifier, but it um, 
So I get two in one. It doesn't strip my hair, but it definitely gets it clean if I needed some clarifying or something like that. So I like that one a little bit better. So I'll, and it takes forever to use up. So I'll go ahead and continue to purchase that one along with the deep conditioner, you know, instead of getting this again. So, but this isn't cotton moving the camera. <laughs> but um, if, for, if my memory serves me, this isn't bad. It's just, I like that one better. And my son said it was okay, but you know, he's not particular. He'll use anything at this point. Okay, so in my bag, I still have some mods in there, so let's go over these. So again, I used, uh, we're back to body care, used up the Tree Hut Vitamin C um, Shea Sugar Scrub, looks like this, and this was really good. I like this, has a citrusy, oh, it smells so good, has a citrusy type scent to it, and um, I would repurchase this one. I also bought the body butter to this the vitamin c body butter love it it's very light and it's kind of a whip consistency and you put it on and it just soaks into your skin you don't have to rub and rub and rub it just soaks into your skin and it feels really light so for some of you who have really really dry skin you may think it's too light you may not think it's thick enough you may not think it's moisturizing enough but for someone like me who i don't really suffer from really dry skin it rubs in great for me. It soaks in great. It keeps my skin supple feeling and everything without being greasy. So I like it. Um, and I still have some of that downstairs. So I would pick up another scrub to use with that to finish, um, finish that off. Not that I only have to use it with this scrub, but that would be a reason I'll to pick up some more scrub. But yeah, this is good. I like Tree Hut scrubs. They're just the right consistency. I like the granule size. I like the smell. I like the colors, you know, so anyway. Next thing I used up was the Ollie multi, um, and Multivitamin and pre Probiotic. These were gummies. It was my first time using Ollie, and it, I liked it, so I went, you know, and I've purchased more Ollie since. But, um, of course, they were gummies. They were flavored, and I liked them. I didn't see... I didn't have any reaction to them, um, negative or anything. I feel like they work just as good or as better, you know, um, just as good as any other multivitamin that I used. I do, um, I got it for the probiotic and I think, you know, it did okay. It worked. Um, I purchased some again. I mean, hey. Okay. The next thing we used up was Excedrin Migraine. We've had this for a long time. We got the large one. This is what we use for our headaches. Um, neither one of us suffer from migraines, but Excedrin migraine is that girl, okay? Or a guy, whatever you want to call it. So you take these, your headache is gone in 20 minutes. Your headache is gone in 20 minutes. Now, it does have caffeine in it, so it may make you go to the restroom because, you know, of the caffeine and, um, you may want to eat something with it, you know, first. Eat some crackers, eat a lunch, eat whatever. Eat something and take these and your headache is going to be gone in 20 minutes. So we just do this. We don't deal with the Tylenol. I mean, we keep Tylenol on hand too, you know, um, just because. But when it comes to our headaches, we're not trying to go for Tylenol and, ex um, you know, a leave and all that kind of stuff. We head right to the Excedrin right to the Excedrin. So we'll repurchase. And this is not Excedrin and here's one of the things that go in the bottle. So I just wanna let you know that this is empty, would repurchase. Um, oh, another hair product. So I used up the Kinky Curly Come Clean Shampoo. Guys, this was my first time purchasing this. I ended up liking it. I hate that it's gone, but it is used up. And um, I have so many other clarifiers that I probably won't buy this anytime soon but if for some reason I'm out and I do need a clarifier I will pick it up because it's it's good I like it enough to repurchase it okay but when I don't know so yeah that's good okay so let me let me put this other stuff in here so we can keep so we can keep going. Okay, so now 
this is a hodgepodge guys so we're gonna do what we can do okay so the next thing that i used up was the kroger um lemon grass and basil hand soap i showed this in a vlog where i did a grocery haul not too long ago and i picked these up these were on sale or price for like 89 cents so I thought that I would get them I got this and I think three other scents I used this one and I said I would let you guys know if I thought it was good and I thought it was worth it okay so I like the scent I like the clean freshness of the scent the lemongrass and the basil so I do like that and um but I will say that I felt like I had to use more of this to get the lather. Now, I don't know if that was mental because I'm thinking, oh, it's Kroger brand or what, but I do feel like I had to get more of it to get the lather to clean my hands the way that I want them to be cleaned. So I don't think that this lathers as well as um, your soft soap or, you know, something like that. So your dial some people use dial hand soaps and stuff like that um but it's not bad for 89 cent it's not bad i like the scent and it did what it was supposed to do there's still a little bit left and believe you me i'm gonna use this but it's gonna be gone before um i do another empty so i just thought that i would put it in with this so if you want to try it i say it's worth picking up giving it a try but you may, you know, want to stick to your soft scents more or your um, Mrs. Myers, you know, stuff like that. You're going to spend more money for those. So keep that in mind, but it wasn't bad. Okay, so next thing I used up was the Summer's Eve uh, Feminine Wash. I got one in Simply Sensitive and one in fra Fragrance Free. I've talked about these before. I will repurchase um, I'm done with them now and I think I said in my last empties I was done with my couche and I wanted to try some other things so I am right now trying something different something new so I'll let y'all know how I feel about those but I like these and I definitely would repurchase these um, if I needed something and I'm at the grocery store you know I'd, I'd repurchase them <sighs> Okay, next thing we used up was a Suave Cocoa Butter and Shea um, Nourishing Body Wash. Got two of them, got a large one, got a small one. And um, I believe this one was in our shower and this one was in AJ's shower. And um, he left for college and there's only a little bit in here. So I went on and just put it in the empties. But this was good. I was, I was surprised, I was surprised. It smells good. It's, it's inexpensive. Um, it bubbled up, you know, it lathered up well and everything. So I would repurchase. My husband did not complain about it because I ended up getting this because I couldn't find his um, Olay Shea. Olay, I think is what he uses, is the Shea one. I couldn't find that, so I, they had this. So I picked this up and I said, we're going to give it a try. He didn't complain. He used it. So, yes, I would have repurchased these again. They both liked it. They both used it. it. Smells good. And it's less expensive. So, use two of those. Next thing uh, used up was the Degree. My son used up the Degree uh, Extreme Blast and the Arm Hammer Essentials. Would not repurchase this one. He liked it at first and then he decided that he liked this better. Um, not this one so much, so I probably would not repurchase this. Not because it's, it's bad, but just because he prefers this. And I don't really use Arm & Hammer, so um, the Extreme Blast is his favorite, so I definitely would repurchase this. Next thing I used up was the Eden Body Works Natural Cleansing Cold Wash. What it looks like this, you guys know I love this cold wash. It is gone. Um, and... I only had like a very little bit in here so and I wanted to add, put this in empty so I put the remainder in this which is my Eden Body Works and I just put this um, pump on it because it comes with a top like this but I've got those pumps because I don't want 
in my shower, I have to have this open. This just stuck on here, it's empty. And you're digging your hand down in there, your hand is wet and then you put, so water gets down in here and sometimes it's like draining it out and everything. So to keep that from happening, I bought those pumps and now I can pump it out and put it in my hair. If you guys are interested in those pumps and want some for yourselves, for your co-washes or your whatever you have, um, I will link that down below. So look in the description box for those pumps. If you're interested, those pumps fit the 16 ounce jars. If you have jars that are smaller, then of course you wanna search for whatever it is that you have. But those fit this. So used that up, I would repurchase. That is my favorite co-wash. One of my favorites. I got, I like um, some other ones as well. Um, I also used up the Simple Kind to Skin Moisturizing Facial Wash and I tried it. It was okay, didn't quite like it. Gave it to my son to try. He used it a little bit um, and he was, he said it was and to him too. So I probably would not repurchase this. Next I used up the Unscented Facial Lotion by Smartly. Looks like this. Bought it one day. I think I got the facial wash with this as well. Gave it to my son. I think he has it right now. Um, again, I didn't care for it. Um, so I probably wouldn't repurchase it and um, I'm gonna wait to hear from him. But the facial, the uh, moisture, dry skin, moisturizer or facial lotion, it's just okay. It's, it's thin and it's just okay. It's just okay. Probably won't repurchase it. He probably don't care either. My son probably doesn't care either. Next thing I used up, I didn't use this up. My son used this up. Next thing my son used up was the Sensodyne Pro Namel. He ran out of toothpaste, decided to come down in my bathroom and get my Pro Namel. <laughs> and you can see how beat up it is, no cap or anything. But I found this in his bathroom too, because y'all know I said I'm taking over his bathroom. So I went in there and found all kind of empty stuff just sitting on the counter. So he used this up, would repurchase this. This is really good, especially if you have sensitive teeth. If you have, um, you're trying to strengthen your enamel and things like that. Try Pro Namel, it's really good. I would repurchase it. Okay, now I think this is my last hair product. I used up the Rosanna Naturals Calendula and Aloe Deep Conditioner. So it looks like this. I do have a review on these products. I'll link it here on my channel, but I wanted to revisit it. And um, so I used this deep conditioner recently and I liked it. The slip was really good. The slip was really good. It smells amazing. Um, there is a slight, slight, slight coating left behind so it doesn't rinse completely clean, but it's not enough to really um, complain too much about. So this is good, guys. I'm glad I reused it. Um, if you have not tried Rosanna Naturals, I say pick, a, pick it up, give it a try. She's a small uh, black owned business, just trying to do her thing. And she has really um, good products. I love the packaging. The packaging is beautiful. So if she is having a sale or something like that, I probably definitely would um, repurchase this. This deep conditioner is good. So I would repurchase that. Now let's get into some face care and we are about done. Um, so one thing that I did not use up is still full, but I'm getting rid of it, putting it in empties, is the Elf Glow Dewy Mist. I don't like it. It's a milky mist. You spray it on, it comes out in these globs. So you've got these white globs all on top of your makeup. I just don't like it. So I, I'm not going to finish it up. So I put it in the empties. Um, next thing I used up was... The Revlon So Fierce Mascara, like it. I do feel like this dries out fairly quickly. Um, but when you first get it and you put on your lashes, it makes your lashes look really long, really black in my opinion. Um, 
So I like it. I would repurchase it, even though I feel like it dries out quicker than the L'Oreal Voluminous, which is my favorite. The, the, the L'Oreal Voluminous and this so far are my favorite mascaras. And um, that one, I think, lasts a little bit longer. But this one definitely is good initially. So, and it's affordable. So, yeah, I'd probably repurchase it. Next thing I used up was the Philosophy uh, Anti-Wrinkle Miracle Worker um, Nighttime Version. I use this in a nighttime routine. I'll link it here. And I like it. I would repurchase it. It's a little pricey, but I would repurchase it. It is all gone. I love the thickness of it, and I love the feel and the texture of it. It just feels expensive. It, the texture just feels soft and creamy, and you put it on your face, and you can, because it's thick, you can feel the heaviness. You can feel the, um, not heavy where it's weighing your face down, but you can feel the thickness and the, just the moisture going into your face and the suppleness that your face gives and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm describing it right, but I like this. I like this and I would repurchase it. I hope they have a sale because I want to repurchase it and it lasts a long time. You only need a little bit. Um, the daytime version is in a white jar like this. It's good too. I would repurchase that one as well, but yeah, this is good. Next thing I used up was some products from the e.l.f. Um, little kit I had. I did a gift guide one year for Christmas or something like that. I'll link it here if I can find it. But there was a gift set, an elf facial gift set in there um, that I thought was good for, you know, gifts. And so I tried it. I ended up not giving it to anybody. I got it for myself. I used it myself. And this is the daily cleanser. And this is the hydrating boosting drops. I like it. I like it. The cleanser is light, um, you know, but it cleanses. It's gentle, has a nice clean scent to it. Uh, and then I also have the moisturizer that goes to it. And you put a few little drops of that in the moisturizer and put it on your face. And I like it as well. So this is this hydrating boosting drops, kind of like a serum, but um, I pretty much use it up. I wasn't sure. But I like it. I just feel like, you know, for those of you who are, you know, experts on skincare and all that, you may be like, eh, whatever. But for everyday people, I think this is good. I especially think because of the size of it, it's great for travel. Like I said before, if you're going somewhere and you don't want to take your expensive stuff, your glass jars and all that kind of stuff, this is a nice little kit that gives you everything you want. It gives you the cleanser, it gives you the facial uh, the moisturizer, I believe it came with an under eye um, thing too. And it gives you the drops. It gives you what you need to travel with. And it's just enough for travel, you know, or to come back home. But if you happen to leave it there, it's no big deal. So I think it's good for that. And I definitely re re will repurchase it if for no other reason but for that reason. I would repurchase these. So they were good. Next thing I used up was the Fit me um stick foundation in the color 330 it's my color i love it i would repurchase it i use it in the liquid and the stick um i love it next thing i used up was this hand cream from skin and co this is the citrus amaro hand cream it came in an ipsy i believe i used to get the ipsy subscription it came in that i finally used it up and it was all right it had the scent is okay. It was all right. It took me forever to use it just because I just felt like I put it on and um, the scent was okay. And then you put it on and then later my hands felt dry again. So I don't know that it's as moisturizing as I would like it to be. So I would not repurchase that. Next thing I used up was the Elf Poreless Face Primer would repurchase this. This is one of those ones that you put it on your pores and you can see it filling your pores in for me. I like this. This is one of the ones that will actually kind of even out my pores and make them a little bit more invisible under my makeup. So I definitely will repurchase this. I like it. Next thing I used up was the Tatcha uh, Dewy Skin Cream. It's got a very, see that? Got a very little bit in there and I'm gonna finish that off, but it'll be gone before my next empty. So I wanted to go ahead and put it in here. 
I like this too. This is one of those ones too that I just love the feel of it, the silkiness of it. It goes into the skin. It goes into the skin really well too. You can feel the moisture on this. So this is really good. Tatcha is expensive as well. If it's on sale or something like that, I would definitely purchase it. Um, but if it's not, I probably won't. It's good though. If I can get it in a sample like this, because I've had this, I think I got this. Was this in an Ipsy or is this one of the samples I was able to get with like points at Sephora or whatever? I'm not sure. But if I can get it like that, I would get it and then just use it that way because it's good. If you want to spend the money on it, then you go ahead and spend the money on it. Um, it's good, but I'm just, I'd rather get it for free <laughs> or at a really discounted rate. Um, but it's good. I'm glad I got a chance to try it because people talk up Tatcha all the time and I was like, mm, but yeah, it's good. Next thing I used up was this Infinity Sleeping Lip Mask. Um, looks like this. I believe this is another thing that I got in an Ipsy. Um, and it's gone. I used it. It was okay. It wasn't bad. I, I had it on my bedside table. I will put it on at night. And um, I just feel like it, if I didn't go right to sleep, it came off. I mean, you can see it. So it goes on kind of, you can tell it's thick. So you kind of got to gotta really, you know, smooth it on there. But then it feels like it comes off easily when you drink or when you eat or whatever. It comes off easily. So I don't think that I would repurchase it. Next thing I used up was my, one of my favorite lip glosses is the Revlon. It is the color 260. And I believe it is called, oh, here it is. Rosy Future. Looks like this is empty. I don't know if they still have this or not, but I'm gonna look and see because I like it. It's just a nice natural um, color and it will go with, you know, your warms or your cools. So I like it. So I'm gonna set that to the side because I wanna see if they still have it, use that up. And last but not least, I think I'm down to the wire. Last but not least guys, is the Wet n Wild Foundation in the color Caramel. This is the matte one. I like it. I like it. It's actually what I have on today. And I've had it on like I said, all day. It's, um, it's actually late in the day today. And um, I decided to go ahead and film real quick. But um, before I took my face off and got myself ready to settle down for the evening. But this is good. I like it. Um, I also had it in the dewy. I like it in the dewy as well. So both of them are nice. The matte was good for the summer because of the sweating and stuff. The dewy is probably going to be better now that it's getting ready to get winter. So I'm going to have to get me some more because I'm out of both of them. So yeah, I'm going to look into getting some more of this. But I didn't think it was bad for a drugstore foundation. Um, and it matched my color good. So if you're on a budget and you want to try a drugstore foundation, give Wet n Wild a try. So guys, I think that's it. I think that's it for my empties. I told you it was a lot. I'm sorry it was pretty long. Um, I tried to talk fast. So hopefully you got everything. I didn't give a whole lot of um, input, you know, a whole lot of stuff on the products because you've seen these products on my channel before for the most part. Um, so you've heard me do, you know, reviews on them before. If you haven't, go back to some of my old empties or go back to some of my old hair videos and, feel, and get the in-depth version of how I feel about some of the products. But I at least just wanted to let you know whether I would repurchase or not. And if I liked it and give you kind of overview of the scent or whatever. But that's it, guys, for my empties video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on your notifications if you have not already so you will know when I upload my next video. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.